I built a portable wind turbine with a 3D printer and yes, it works. Welcome to Green Lab Tribe, your green energy channel. Let me talk about Kat, Adelaide and Rachel Carr. These Canadian girls are amazing entrepreneurs. They founded Aura Technologies and created Shine, a wind turbine that you can carry around in your own backpack. Their main goal, according to its intro video, it's to get portable wind energy into as many hands as possible. And who wouldn't want this? This thing is cleverly designed, is efficient, lightweight, and of course, it looks good. For me, the blades are the most impressive part of the, of the turbine. You can just fold it into the body of the turbine, making it really easy to carry around. You can use it to charge your electronic devices with really clean energy directly from the source. It has a rated power of 40 watts and 12,000 milliamps hour battery so you have a lot of energy available. Of course, if you have wind. The main advantage against solar systems is they can harvest energy during night. Once again, if there is wind, of course. Why do I emphasize wind energy availability? Because no matter how big or expensive your, or high tech your wind turbine is, it is worthless if there's no wind in the, in, the, in the area. Always check your wind availability before putting a penny on these kind of uh, systems. Remember the Buford's call for a first wind assessment. But this is Green Lab Tribe, and here we don't just talk, we built. So I wanted to create my own portable wind turbine design. But before that, if you like this content, you can join the tribe in Patreon in order to support this channel. You will have access to the digital files for 3D printing or for CNC routing. And most importantly, you will have the option to support our reforestation program by adopting some tricks. The world needs not only green energy and education about it, but also they repopulate the world with trees that can store carbon from the environment and restore fun around it too. I know that for the now is very small community, but you can help to make it grow. And the potential to make a bigger project of this is huge. So you can be part of the first ones in it, one of the founders. So join me to our tribe in Patreon and support this channel. Now, back to the turbine. Of course, I was not going to try to copy the shine design. I decided to make a smaller and more conventional wind turbine. Remember, if you want to do something for the first time, go small, simple and cheap. When it is OK, then you can increase the size and complexity in order to improve it. So the main goal was to create a wind turbine that produces enough power to charge the battery pack and then to connect electronic devices like a smartphone and charge it. The wind turbine has five main parts, the generator, the, the turbine, the battery pack, the control unit, and the main body. Following the rule of making it small, I use this small generator that is easy to find and gives you the necessary voltage to charge the batteries. Now, this is the most important part, how to harvest energy the best way we can. I use the regular blade shape and define its parameters according to the needs. I choose the blade's size and airfoil for a theoretical power output of 20 watt. And from this base, I made some tests to make the adjustments and configurations, like the angle of attack, the cutting wind speed, and the stall wind speed. The stall wind speed is that one where the turbine reaches its maximum turning speed. This can be used as a safety feature, preventing the wind turbine from getting dangerously fast. With a small angle of attack, the turbine will stall at low speeds and will never get the voltage to charge the battery. Too high and it will start to generate power at high speeds and it might turn too fast and it can be destroyed. I printed the blades using a very low density, like 20% infill, to make them as light as possible and designed a hub that allowed me to easily assemble the turbine. Here, using my e-bike, made the first test for the turbine and its blades to see how much voltage it would generate by itself and change its parameters and shapes to get a turbine that starts generating charging voltage at a decent wind speed which is now around 4 meters per second, and the stall speed is around 10 meters per second. For the batteries, I use these lithium cells that I recycled from an old e-bike battery. I connect six of these in parallel to have a 3.7 volts and 12.5 milliampers hour battery, all packed in a 3D printed structure. We have the blades, the generator, the battery, and now we need to control it. This was for me the hardest part, by a lot. When it comes to electronics, my knowledge is limited, and it's mostly theoretical. So I had to study a lot, test them, and fry a lot of electronic modules. At the end, I designed a control unit using an Arduino Nano with a very basic approach. 
When the battery voltage reaches 4.2 volts, the generator is disconnected. And when it goes low as 3.8 volts, the generator gets reconnected. There are no more protections. However, I installed a module to also charge the batteries with a normal charger and to use the storage energy through a USB port. To power the Arduino, I use a voltage booster that raises the 3.7 volts from the battery to 7 volts. I imagine this is some kind of a monster that works. I'm certain it's a better way and a simpler way to do it, but for now it works. The feeling when it blinks without problems is priceless. With all the guts of the turbine ready, it was time to build the body. I made several versions of it, but the main idea remained. The Shine turbine has foldable blades, and it seems a really good idea when you need to store the turbine or carry it in your backpack. My solution was to have a space inside the body to store the blades and hub. Not as elegant as the Shine turbine, but it worked. Here I had a second testing to see if the turbine actually works and if the tail can direct it towards the wind. For this, I went to the Antisana Ecological Reserve, where normally wind blows all the time. I have to say that I tried to design a pole for the turbine, but it failed at the first second I tested. So I decided just to make a system that fits regular tripods used for cameras and, and lights. This was the first time the turbine worked in real conditions. However, in this test, the turbine didn't have electronics yet, so mainly the, the energy was getting into the batteries without any control just hoping it wouldn't catch on fire or something like that. Once everything was put together and checking that all fits right, including the control unit, it was time for the last testing, the ultimate test. Assembly OK, turning OK, it was charging. There are a lot of things that can be improved. The most obvious is the control unit and the output module. It can only charge devices that work under 1 amp, meaning that USB-C type devices cannot be charged. I need to find a model with more capacity. I need a power on off button because right now it's draining power from the batteries all the time. If you want to store it, the battery will die very soon. Even when a turbine needs more long testing for charging and discharging cycles, it works. And that was the goal. So I'm very happy with this thing. If you want to download the 3D printing files for this turbine, you can visit my digital store. By doing this, you will be supporting this channel in green energy content creation. Or also you can become our patron in Patreon, as I mentioned before, and every digital file will be included. Thank you for your support. Do you know a way to improve this turbine? Let me know in your comments. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Push the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. My name is David and I'll see you in the next video of Green Lab Tribe, your green energy channel. Bye.